Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you for coming back. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. All your support, everybody really means a lot to me. Help to grow this channel, get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you so much for being a part of that and helping this channel. So thank you, thank you. And please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media playlist, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Okay, so I hope everybody's doing well. This is for Sagittarius, first half of October already. Can you believe that? As you can see, I'm ready for Halloween here. So happy early Halloween to everybody. All right, Sagittarius. Birthday coming up in a couple months. Okay, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Love connection reading for the first half of October. Alrighty, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so those returning know how this works. Those that are new, well, I guess that's your card. <laughs> Leo, wow, Leo wanted to fall out. Leo, you had that before in a past reading, so definitely here some of you could be connecting with a fellow fire sign, a fellow Leo. If not, that is totally fine. Or if you know their chart at all, uh, maybe they have Leo in their chart in some way. And there is a link below for Cafe Astrology, I think it is, where you can look up your full birth chart. It's free or the person you're interested in if you know their birthday at all. Okay, Sagittarius, two fire signs. All right, so with this deck here, we will get an overall... Love connection energy between, and this can be any type of connection that you have in mind. With anyone you have in mind and any type of connection, no specific connection. So you could be married, dating, just living together, um, just have a crush on each other. I know whatever your situation is, we'll see what comes out here. So hopefully it resonates for you if you clicked on the title. And there's probably something in the title that uh, clicked with you. So there's probably a message or two in here for you. And the whole reading may not be for you, so don't get too caught up on it just take what resonates throw away the rest as always with tarot it's mostly advice guidance you kind of take it with a grain of salt in a way take the advice the guidance the energy and you go with it okay so for Sagittarius first half of October what do we have for their love connection energy spirit please thank you so much that's two. I just want one. One. There we go. That one wanted to stick in my hand. What do we have here? Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Hmm. Number 14, which is five, which fives are about change. So maybe it's you if you feel like you need help connecting with this person or finding out more information about this per person, or maybe you just need advice, guidance about your situation, about this person. This is telling you to ask for help, ask for advice, guidance, whatever you need here um, in this connection. If you just need information, if you need a way to connect with this person and you're not sure how to do it, maybe you need your friends to help you, set something up, whatever here. Don't be afraid to ask for help in some way. That makes sense for some of you. Okay, so, or it could be, because I see this woman, it can be man or woman, like, and this looks like a god here, so like praying up to the heavens to source, asking for help. So some of you may need to go within, pray, meditate, whatever you do here to ask, you know, for guidance. What do I need to do in this situation? What is best for me? What is right for me in this situation? So let's get one for you, one for your person. See how you're both feeling towards each other, how you're both feeling towards the connection. Sagittarius, first half of October, please. How is their person feeling about Sagittarius? And 
feeling about this connection, this one card, please. Thank you so much. Take the top one. Okay, so see how you're feeling, Sagittarius. Get to know each other here. So we have learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And we have double four there with 44. I don't know if you can see that, if it's blurry. But fours are about stability, the basis, the foundation. So I think here, you know, get to know each other to stabilize this connection or try to move it forward or see what it's all about here. There's a need here for you to get to know this person or you're wanting to get to know this person. And then you have four and four, which is eight, which is about act, taking action. All right, see so how your person is feeling. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So they're wanting to take a chance on you, on this connection here. And we have 23, which is five, which is about change, which, which also asks for help here is five, which is change. So I definitely feel like there's um, a change that needs to be needed in this connection here. So they're wanting to, you know, take a chance on this. Taking a chance on this and you, or this is telling you you need to get to know this person to see where it can go, where it can lead, you know, what the foundation can be like. And you may need help from others or need to, you know, ask source, what do I do, you know? Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom. Well, <laughs> on the bottom of the deck, we have I love you. So... These are very important words here. And then that's 20 to two people coming together in unity. So, and I was just speaking about foundation, right? And underneath this, we have consider your foundation. Are you being asked to look at how committed you are to love? Which is 550, five again about change. So I definitely feel like here something needs to change in this connection and uh, get getting to know one another, considering the basis, the foundation of this connection. There's, I feel like, definitely mutual love here between the two of you, and maybe nobody is speaking of that, and that's the change that needs to take place here. Wow. All righty, so let's clarify with the tarot, the Sagittarius. <laughs> all right, I just, I pre-shuffled all these decks, just so you know. And look what's on the bottom when I picked it up is the sun energy here, which is Leo energy. So Leo is sitting at the bottom of the deck to clarify here, Leo. So definitely some of you could be dealing with a Leo. This is happiness, joy, bright light, enlightenment, success, victory, happy home and family, growth, abundance. Everything is positive with the sun energy. All right, so if it's meant to come out, it'll come back out. We'll see. All right, so let's clarify Sagittarius. Love connection reading for the first half of October. Let's clarify. I just saw the Ten of Swords. So some of you may be going through a difficult ending. All right. And I think that's been coming out a lot, a lot for you in your generals in your uh, love readings. So let's get a clarifier for you, them, a couple each for each side, so Sagittarius. Let's get a couple clarifiers for you, getting to know each other for Sagittarius, please. Couple cards, thank you so much. For the first half of October Spirit, thank you so much. Two cards for Sagittarius. All right, I'm gonna take, oh, that's one these two because there's way too many here i don't take large clumps like that all right so we have yeah the seven of swords here so this is air energy libra gemini aquarius doesn't have to be seven of swords you know it does speak about lies deceit uh dishonesty untrustworthy behavior but this also can be self-deceit and not being true to yourself okay so let's see what else is paired with that well we got the two of cups in reverse here so this does speak of two people coming together in soulmate union here but it's in reverse so there's not a coming together 
with you in your person. So it's either you're lying to yourself about, yeah, I don't want this, you know, I don't want to come together with this person. But I mean, deep down, you really want to get to know them because deep down here between the two of you is love here with I love you. So that's what I'm feeling with that is um, you're just trying to avoid the situation, avoid avoiding coming together with this person. Hmm. Okay, so let's get two for your person. Two for your person. I mean, it's like deep down you want to get to know this person. You know, you want to see what it's all about, but then you're kind of avoiding it also. So very contradictory energy there. Okay, so let's get two for your person, how they're feeling about you. The six of wands, wow, okay. One more. One more for, and the Hierophant, holy craps. <laughs> wow. So this is Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. The Two of Cups here um, is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I did see the Ten of Swords earlier when I was shuffling just a minute ago. And this, you know, this does talk about, talk about partnership, but here there is no partnership. So, you know, maybe you ended something with the Water Sign also could be possible. Um... So, I don't know. It's It could be both. It could be you ended somewhat of water. So, I've been getting that a lot also in all your readings. and But maybe you're also um, in denial, like trying to sneak away, not facing um, this new connection either. Though you do, there are feelings, mutual feelings here between the two of you. So, your person here, like I said, Leo Sag Aries, this is success, victory. Um, so, they're seeing here with the Six of Wands energy success and victory with you they're wanting that with you and now we have the hierophant which is taurus energy so this is about commitment marriage um morals values spirituality faith doing things that are uh, by the book doing things right um and that sort of energy so they definitely want to do things right with you and they definitely want some sort of higher commitment in some way, shape, or form with you. They're definitely seeing that. Wow. All right. So let's get let's get the actual situation here between you and your person, whoever you have in mind. Like I said, they could be a Leo. If not, that's totally fine. Uh, let's see. Actual. Oh, well, we got the Knight of Swords. Ear energy here connected to you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could have heavy ear in your chart. Uh, Knight of Swords, this is taking action, movement. So, but that is a very reckless kind of energy sometimes. They kind of rush in recklessly without thinking clearly first because the swords there are about thinking clearly, communication, and that sort of energy. But with this knight, the Knight of Swords, he rushes in and he does not think clearly first. He just kind of... Whoom, Rushes in, causes havoc, trouble, confusion. So, I think I just had a card flip. No? Okay. Oh my gosh. I had three cards flip. So, <laughs> we got the Four of Pentacles here, which is about, you know, holding on to your stability, Earth energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn doesn't have to be. But this is about holding on to things and also holding back. Holding back from others and holding on to what you have. This is how I take that card. So, and that's the mutual energy between the two of you. It's like holding on to the connection to the between the two of you and not letting it go, but also holding back from one another. But, I mean, I mean you have such contradictive, contradictive uh, if I can talk, energy here of like avoiding the situation to, of coming together but yet you want to rush in wow confusing here but now you have the queen of swords energy here Libra Gemini Aquarius so that's connected to your person here for the situation so it's like the energy between the two of you because you have the knight of swords they have the queen of swords these are both energies of truth clarity um, speaking up Communication, cutting away things not serving, standing up.
for yourself, for others, for the connection, whatever here, and not taking any BS. So it's like you both want open, honest communication in some way, shape, or form, but yet nobody's making a move because you're stuck in the middle of here, the Four of Pentacles, where nobody's budging, nobody's moving, maybe being a little stubborn. Wow. And then we did have uh, Temperance Fallout here, which is your card, Sagittarius. So this is about... Um, you know, balance, peace, harmony, patience kind of energy, balancing yourself out. So maybe you're just in a process now, if you did have still have that difficult ending going on, uh, of balancing your energies out and looking for, you know, your inner peace, harmony here, moving forward, and having patience with yourself, moving forward, and maybe even with this connection, things around you. All right, so let's see what else... That's way too many. Let's want one more to clarify the situation. The King of Swords. So here, so now we have the King and Queen of Swords. So this is, again, this has been coming a lot, a lot out in your readings about soulmate energy here. Now, I know you're fire and your person may be fire, but we have King and Queen of Swords, same suit. Same suit is soulmate energy. So I definitely feel like, you know, you both could heavily could have air in your chart. If not, this is just to say, no matter what signs you are, this definitely is a soulmate energy when it comes out in the same suit. So now they have the king and queen. Oh, so I just noticed this too. They have the king and queen of swords on their side. Queen attached to them for the actual situation, clarifying with the queen of swords. So they know, <laughs> your person knows that you two are divine counterparts that you are soulmates here. Wow. And again, with the swords, it's truth, clarity, communication, standing up, not backing down, not taking any BS, cutting away things. See, her sword is up. His sword is down. So butterflies all around for transformation. I think there's a hawk here too, trying to get a bird's eye view of the whole situation. Maybe a person is. It's like their sword is up there, their sword is down. So when the sword is down, that's like, you know, taking a stance. When it's up, it's like, it's like I'll use the sword if I have to. And then, well, if I don't have to, I won't. So, you know, your person may be thinking, maybe I need to cut them out, or maybe not. It's like a very um, back and forth energy. All right. The sword is down here right under the Hierophant, which is commitment. So they want to, they definitely want something more with you here. Like that's their final judgment call with the sword facing downward here. But yet, they're not afraid to use the sword either to cut away if have, you know, if they have to. All right, so let's get some advice for you, Sagittarius, in this connection. I feel like you're very stuck. You're trying to, well... Okay. You're trying to balance yourself out. You're trying to have peace and harmony, patience, everything going on with you. The devil. Wow. Okay. Capricorn, toxic energy here. Ooh, that's your advice. So this could just be a very strong, sexual, passionate connection, attraction, temptation here. Okay. So what else for Sagittarius' is advice? One more for their advice. My hangman. Wow. So, <laughs> so we have Cancer Pisces with the hangman, Capricorn with the devil. So the hangman here just kind of doesn't take action, hangs back, um, goes with the flow. You know, their foot is still bound to something. So you know there's something that you're still connected to here. But this is a need to think about things, see things in a new perspective before you take action here. You know, and maybe you still are bound to this person. You feel a connection that, I don't know, sexual energy or that passionate temptation sort of energy. So I think your advice here is, you know, whatever temptation or strong desire or whatever it is here is to just kind of not take action coming from that kind of place, kind of like hang back. Think about things, become enlightened, see things in a new perspective here. And really think about this connection because you're still tied up and bound 
to this connection. Wow. All right, so let's get a couple more clarifiers for that. Sagittarius. And that could be why you're so conflicted. You know, maybe you just want a physical connection with this person and you're afraid to go further than that. And that's why the Two of Cups is in reverse. All right. It's like you feel like you both feel the love there because it does say I love you. But I think with the Seven of Swords, you're trying to block that out. You're trying to ignore that. You're trying to hide from that. You know, run away from that. All right. But yet you still want to come forward. Wow. And that could be that, you know, conflicting energy here. Fear here also with the devil energy. It can speak of, you know, addictions, obsessions, and that sort of thing. All right, so we have, so the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Eight of Swords, which is Air Energy, again. So, yeah, this is mental entrapment with the Eight of Swords, can't get out of your head, your own mind in this situation. Five of Pentacles, yet feeling neglected, lonely, left out in the cold. You know, you could be alone right now. This woman is alone. So feeling very lonely, alone, left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. And like just trapped in your head about this whole situation. And I think that's why you have these conflicting energies here of, you know, I'm lonely, sad, alone, feeling cold and reject, rejected, neglected, you know, but I'm stuck in my head about the situation. I want to come forward, but I don't want to come forward. I don't want to be trapped and bound, as you see the Eight of Swords there, and a new connection. Yet I do feel this connection. That's what I'm getting with this. So... All right, so I guess your advice here is just to uh, hang back and really think about things. What is it you truly want, you know? And maybe you just need to, you know, communicate to this person, have some sort of open conversations. You have swords all over the place for conversation here. And just to see what's on their mind, what's going on with them. I mean, I do see they want, they want success and victory. They do want to get to know you. And they do want something more, so whatever that is. All right, so let's see what your actual outcome could be. <laughs> well, well, well. We have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius, Passionate New Beginning, Fiery, Passionate, Exciting, New Endeavors, New, um, you know, a lot of passionate, new, exciting things here with the Ace of Wands. And this does represent wants, and you know, it's a very phallic energy. So a lot of, I do feel attraction here. You to them, them to you, whatever here. Uh, but that's a fiery, passionate new beginning. Exciting, going off on, you know, exciting, doing exciting things together. All right. So let's get more clarifiers on the Ace of Wands for your possible outcome. Again, you know, it's kind of connected here with the devil energy also. So... I mean, if you're just wanting a sexual relationship with this person, I don't know, that could be the devil energy also with that temptation and the ace of wands with the phallic energy. But this is telling you to really think about that. Is that what, what you truly want with the hangman energy? All right. So let's get a couple more clarifiers for the ace of wands. Oh, we have death, which is Scorpio. And we have justice. Wow. So... Death and justice. So death is um, Scorpio. Justice is Libra. So the, you know, death here is the end of a situation, end of something, but then there's rebirth, renewal, transformation. Something new begins after something ends. And justice here could be something in the justice department or just bringing in communication in the situation, you know, balancing out the scales, open, honest, truthful communication. So it could be, you know, before you can have this new beginning, passionate new beginning, it could be that there is something that you are ending here in the Justice Department first, or you need to end this, like, energy between the two of you and balance out the scales as with temperance there and have that open, honest communication between the two of you to balance things out. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. 
the four of swords so again here's the thinking contemplating resting rejuvenating healing energy air energy again so really thinking about this you know moving forward page of wands so there's the fiery passionate communication three of swords so there's heartache pain sorrow heartbreak here so this can speak of either third party or just really coming out of a really um, heartbreaking situation here with the three of swords. And then you have the ace of swords. So and this is always divine energy to me. It's like divine saying, yep, this is the truth and clarity of the matter for some of you. Success, victory, sword of victory, truth, clarity, communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS here. Another new beginning. So now you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. So yeah, you definitely could be walking away from something here. Something, uh, maybe a past relationship here was very painful, heartbreaking. I can get that in there. The Three of Swords energy. But you walk away, but then you can always walk to something more fulfilling. And here's your energy with the wheel. Sag energy, fate, destiny, timing, something meant to be things going in your favor so the wheel here is saying that whatever is coming in for you here whatever this connection here was probably meant to be with the divine wheel bringing it in for you and that may be what you're walking towards maybe you've finally seen the truth and the light of the situation here with the ace of swords big clarity aha moment epiphany spiritual awakening and now you have the three of pentacles energy this is teamwork working together Eight of Wands, communication, passionate communication, travel, action, Cupid's arrows. I believe this is Sagittarius energy because they call it Cupid's arrows and you are the archer. So this is like shooting your arrows here. Passionate communication and taking action, travel, working together, sword of victory, success, epiphany, walking away but walking to, divine timing meant to be. Out of a painful situation passionate communication moving forward after a period of thinking and contemplating here all right so put this there I don't know if you can see that let's pull some extra oracles for you I'll put that there all right Let's pull some extra oracles for you. So I see, you know, this is something you really need to think about, contemplate about what you truly want, desire moving forward. Having open, honest communication with this person. They definitely want to get to know you better. Um, I think that's what... Yeah, they want to take a chance. You really deep down you really want to get to know this person and they want to take a chance on you but everything is just still and stagnant and I've been getting that a lot for you and you having to end something first or ending something painful and that's why you have has um, hesitations about this all right Sagittarius extra messages for Sagittarius first half of October our lady of soul birth which is number five again with change so this is like the birth of your soul like being true to who you truly are um this you know fire ignited within your soul and follow, following your life purpose um and that sort of energy and this also could be the birth of soulmates here with soul birth if you choose to have that all right so what else sagittarius our Lady of Nourishment here, which is number 34, which is seven, is a divinely guided spiritual number. So I think you could really nourish each other, you know, nourish each other's soul, energy, um, grow and learn with one another here. With Our Lady of Nourishment, or there's a need to take care of yourself, uh, nourish yourself, rest, you know, resting, eating right exercise that kind of thing nourishing your uh, spiritual energy our lady with the moon at her feet number 36 which is nine you no know, nine's about almost at the end of a completion 
I'm not sure what that means. Our Lady, number 39, with the moon at her feet. No, number 36. So let's see what that means. Uh, so this is the Mother Mary deck. So it speaks like if Mother Mary is speaking to you. I have heard your heart, your heart prayers. I have heard you calling to me so silently and suffering, wanting to let go and grow and finding that despite all your efforts, still you must endure. It is as if you are sinking when you want to rise, falling when you want to fly. I come to you now with the moon at my feet and ask you to put your trust in me. I will help you outgrow that which no longer serves so that, that, so that what you struggle to attain now through effort and time will come naturally to you. Have faith. What you want is possible and I will help you get there. So, I mean, and we did here have asked for help and I did mention about, you know, praying, meditating, whatever you do here. You know, and the moon does speak about, you know, uh, deep feelings, um, emotions, cycles, feelings, intuition. Uh, can also talk about not seeing things clearly. Uh, maybe things that are hidden, maybe hidden emotions. So there could be hidden emotions in this connection. Uh, people not being tr truth, you know, totally honest, truthful with the, how they're feeling, what they're going through, things like that. But... Um, I know she's saying here that you can have what you want and can help you get there. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Our Lady of Holy Fire, 39, which is 12, which is 3. It's about working together, coming together, teamwork, and Holy Fire. I mean, you both could be fire signs here, so it could be a holy, fiery connection here. I feel something meant to be from the divine energy, that holy divine energy. So let's see, uh, 39, what the holy fire means. And I opened it right to it. To live is to burn, to grow, and to ignite the heart and soul with passionate devotion to higher purpose. I ask you to honor me, even when it seems like what you love is burning away or what you have believed in is failing you. I ask you to remain open to me, even if you are in shock, denial, or feel betrayed or broken. To live with an open heart is for the brave souls that love me and are capable of loving the world. I bring you holy fire. It burns through me as a spiritual passion and ignites now in you also, my child. You are to receive this fire now and let the heart of the world, and set the heart of the world aflame. So it's like just having that passion and that motivation to move forward. So that's probably what you need is uh, passion more. I mean, you do have the passion here with the Ace of Wands and the devil energy. But I think your main message here is to think think about what the hangman, what you truly want in this, in this new connection moving forward. Do you just want a, like, I don't know, a sexual relationship or do you want something more? And I think you have fear of that. But there are feelings. But I think you're in denial about your feelings. They definitely have feelings for you. Uh, but you both are holding back from one another also. There needs to be balance here with the justice card, ending of old ways, ending uh, the situation as it is now so you can transform it and move forward and consider what kind of foundation this could be uh, moving forward, whatever that is for you. If it's, I mean, they definitely want more, you know, either, I don't know, leveling up a notch of some kind, whatever that means for you. Um that's the energy your person has. Okay, Sagittarius, um, this didn't resonate for you. You can check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider them all timeless. So if you catch a title and it resonates, I'd say watch it anyway. If you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So you get four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. And I may be switching it up in... Um, doing some other different types of readings in the future, so don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching, and best of luck to you here in your love connection, whatever it is for you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.